Okay, sure. Uh, Boris, would you introduce yourself, please? Uh, hi, Arkady. Yes, sure. My name is Boris. I'm working on OpenStack already for more than three years. I started as a scientist in Institute of System Programming, Russian Academy of Science, very scary name. <laughs> We're working actually there on a very interesting project. It was uh, uh, HPC Cloud, so it was for high-performance uh, computing. And we have to implement PCI pass-through in Nova. So if you heard maybe about SRIOF, so, so VMs uh, will be able actually to work directly with devices without virtualization. This was very, very critical for our case because uh, without it, we have overhead of OpenStack was like 90% of workload. So it just didn't work well. So I developed this uh, part of code that allows you to use uh, PCI devices directly inside VMs. And I tried to contribute it back to the OpenStack. And I would like to say a very big thanks to Russell, Bryant, and Ananda. Russell Bryant at that point was a P, uh, PTA of Nova, and Devananda was helping a lot me with the uh, involving community. And I started working on this code. After that, like I see that there are some like uh, gaps uh, in Nova, especially related to DB part. So a lot of uh, requests were not optimal. And I was starting refactoring from the Air and upper. And I did a lot of patches and Mirenti saw that in Stackalytics and they just called me to work for them. So I moved to Mirantis where I got some kind of a, a quite large team to teach to contribute to uh, in upstream of OpenStack. And I was pretty flexible of choosing the task that we would like to work. So we were concentrated mostly on Oslo and helping uh, remove Oslo incubator and split everything in libraries. And one of the large library that was done uh, by my team at that point was Oslo DB. So, uh, however, like I would like to thank Roman Padalaka and Victor Sergeyev that was working very hard on this task as well. So we unify all DB code across the all projects, uh, which reduce a lot of lines of code in each of the projects and start this movement uh, faster about removing Oslo incubator and using Oslo libraries. And as you know now, we don't have any Oslo incubator code, and that is very, very awesome. So, and during the work on OpenStack, uh, I saw a lot of like issues with architecture, these decisions, there were some performance problems, scalability problems, and so on. And it was really hard to explain in upstream that your code that is doing some magic with TP or some magic uh, in changing code uh, is actually helping in all the cases because uh, uh, OpenStack is very flexible. You can configure it in different way for different purpose. And then it's absolutely unclear what to do. So I thought that we need instrument for measuring performance so I can propose the change and uh, tell somebody else, okay, here is without this change performance, here is after. And then he will be able to repeat the same experiment. So this is why I started Rally Project like two and a half years ago, I think. And uh, we started it a bit different. So it's like out of box solution for testing. So you can install and run it. You don't need to take care about how to process results, how to generate reports, how to run it, how to verify that your input tasks are proper and so on. So we try to keep everything together and make it very pluggable. So, uh, <coughs> by uh, so uh, and by testing, I mean all kinds of testing. So you can, we try to unify in single framework all kind of possible testing strategies of functional, perf, scale, regression, load, longevity, capacity, and so on. There is one that is missing HA, but we are working on it. So HA will be uh, 
you will be able to test a J using the same framework and same plugins actually. So, uh, how it works? So there are like uh, test cases are designed as a YAML files, and the plugins are Python code. The, and in YAML files, you are specifying like set of combination of four types of plugins uh, uh, that are used as a building blocks. So you have like scenario plugin. It's like set of actions of users like boot VM, wait until it boots, delete VM, and wait until it deletes. So it's like one iteration of scenario. And then you have a runner plugin. This thing is, uh, it generates a lot calling multiply times scenario plugin with the arguments that you pass to it. So like you can call this scenario 10 times in parallel, 100 times in total. So it will keep like 10, uh, running parallel scenario iterations. And then there are context plugins. So it's like uh, if you compare it for, uh, with unit test framework, there is a setup and teardown. So prepare environment and after the load is done, uh, clean up environment. So we can create users, uh, set up roles, set up uh, quotas, add some servers, do some other stuff because like as I said, uh, OpenStack is very, very hard for testing. And you uh, always have a lot of steps before you can actually do the load. So you, can, you need to create users, set up them properly, and so on. So this like uh, separation to scenarios and context and runners allows you to reduce amount of code. So you are writing just, we have just few runners, and it's enough. Mm -hmm. And then we have a bit more context classes. So for all the resources that work together to build the environment. And then scenarios are very pretty, they're pretty simple. So they just do their job. So we have a really good interfaces here. And the last one is SLA. So it's like set of criteria of success based on results. So no failures or some amount of expected failures, which can be negative testing, yeah? If you, for example, would like to test quotas, and you are running 10, starting 10 VMs, and you can just start five, you're expecting that five will fail. And you can do this with this stuff without writing new plugins. And this is great, yeah? So, <clears throat> uh, all plugins are set on arguments. So, like, what flavor to use, or what law to generate, or what, like, what amount of users to create, and so on, are uh, parameters that are uh, actually add to the YAML files where you are combining everything together to test case. So this actually is great because like developers can work on the code plugins, which are building blocks for QAs. They don't need to write the code and they can just in YAML combine this in the way that they need to do the, their tests. So. Great. This is like rally. So what we are working now is like, we would like to make it possible to use rally for other projects, for all their open source solutions. And we are really close to that point of time. So it will still be simple to test OpenStack as it is now, but it will be simple to test other platforms as well. Excellent. Uh, from the uh, Newton, uh, uh, design summit, uh, what are kind of three or, uh, you know, highest priorities uh, for the rally for the Newton? So, uh, one of the really big is improve cleanups mechanism. So we would like to have a, a disaster cleanups, which means if something went very wrong, for example, Keystone goes down or something happened with Rally in the middle of testing. We don't have a proper way to clean up all the resources. So we're refactoring during the uh, Mitaka, a lot of uh, code in Rally to make, uh, to unify the namings of the all resources. So we will be able to delete them with a really new instance of Rally when you fix your cloud. <laughs> So keeping, this is very important for production environments. Another is uh, 
So we are doing restructurization of Rally OpenStack plugins. This is required to reduce the code duplication between scenarios and context that we have now and allow people to test uh, multiple API versions with the same plugins. So one plugin for booting VM will work with different versions of Nova and users won't see the difference. So it will just pick the proper version that uh, there in cloud exists and it will use it to run the proper commands to perform this action. Uh, the another topic is scalability uh, of Rally itself. So uh, we did as well a lot of job in Mitaka and we are going to finish it in Newton. So basically you'll be able to run desks that are running forever. So until your disk is not full. And this is actually required by another very important task is distributed load generation, which allows you to generate load from different servers. So like targeting numbers is to have 100 servers that are generating load. And the hard part of this is that we need to store all these results very optimal because there is a lot of results and making this system require the scalability changes that will be in place so. And there is a fourth topic that is as well very interesting, it's um, trends report. So historical performance data reports. So you're running the same task over the time and you would like to see like how the durations and errors are uh, change over the time. This is asked by OpenStack community and a lot of companies because they are running periodically a rally and they, there is no way in rally to generate such kind of reports for now. So as well as reporting for comparing results. So two runs, compare them. Does so, uh, comparing the results, including the report generating, includes uh, the configuration, at least the OpenStack configuration itself, so you can compare, for example, different uh, options for, let's say, Neutron or Nova or Hypervisor or various other options which are available? <coughs> so this is a really good question. So uh, the answer is no. <laughs> uh, the thing here is that when we started Rally, we were thinking about very portable solution. So it won't be vendor specific and you will be able to use it everywhere and it should be easy. So we have a criteria of not using anything else than a Keystone credentials. So you are using Keystone credentials and based on that, you are getting all information from cloud that you can do via API and performing all the tests. So until we have a, some kind of config DB that is uh, configuration as a service for OpenStack, we should have an uh, API that returns us uh, the configuration options of different services. We won't be able to do that. Okay. Until another thing may happen is like really won't be OpenStack specific and we will have like uh, ability to go via SSH to the different servers, collect this information. However, in any case, it will be very vendor specific. So DevStack has in one place configuration, Mirantis OpenStack in another, RDO in third, HP Helion in fourth place and so on, yeah? So it's very hard task until we don't have a configuration as a service, which is very good thing for OpenStack. However, like it's not support well, I understand. Like, unfortunately. But it will be really a good uh, design decision. Understand. Thank you. Um, there is uh, multiple themes which are uh, uh, evolved in the OpenStack over the last uh, several releases: uh, scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, interoperability, security, uh, user uh, uh, ease of use. Uh, which of those themes, uh, you know, the work in the Newton for Rally? Uh, is addressing or uh, strong, uh, having more impact on? So <coughs> we have definitely, uh, we are definitely working on scalability problems. 
So we did a lot. So we refactored a whole code of Rally. So it all uses streaming algorithms. And streaming algorithms are nice because uh, they can proceed chunks of results and they need constant amount of uh, RAM. So the only thing that is like, uh, uh, the only thing that is left is to do DB migration from old uh, schema to new, where from old where we are storing everything by one request to DB in one blob field, we will store in a lot of small chunks over the time, and then everything will be done. So we'll get the real scalability until you have full disk. Another thing that we would like to do is we won't store chunks of raw data, we will store chunks of zipped data. So based on our experiments, we will reduce 20 times uh, disk usage, which is a lot. So you can run way more things. Great. Okay, so about uh, manageability. So uh, uh, we are working on refactoring of OpenStack plugins, as I said before. So the uh, thing here is that uh, we will make it way simpler to make OpenStack plugins, OpenStack related plugins. And this is like very important topic because in some places it already becomes a mess. And especially with these requirements for testing multiple API versions, where we don't have a clear solution for everybody. Okay, and then we have working. We are working on modularity as well. So uh, during the two last releases, we were splitting framework from plugins. We almost done all this work, and we are improving the plugins framework so it will allow you to inst to make actually new repository which can be installed with uh, pip, like uh, just Python package, and really will allow to discover all this stuff and work well. So when we finish all this work related to the plugin framework and splitting like some of OpenStack plugin from Rally Engine, that is another task like splitting and Rally and OpenStack, we will be ready to split all OpenStack plugins to separate the repository which will make a Rally core way more lighter because we won't need to install all the Python plugins and all the requirements, and there will be less code, which will make simpler to newbies to understand how Rally is organized, how it works, and allow actually to scale up uh, the process because we can have separated community for OpenStack plugins and separated for Rally core functionality, yeah? Very good. And, and then, like, if we add new platforms, like Mesos, Kubernetes, Docker, LibVirt, anything, they can have own repositories, and you won't need to install all the requirements for all these projects every time. Just only the things that you need. Great. Thank you. Well, uh, the final question I have uh, is kind of a follow on, uh, you know, what you can say or if you're uh, feeling what will be uh, kind of a themes you uh, plan to address in Okata timeframe. So Okata, I think that Okata will be all about HA testing, uh, testing and monitoring, and really as a service. So complete solution, like you can run Rally as a service, and then you can set up cron task, you'll get like interactive mode for working, and simpler way to like uh, design your test cases based on plugins. And as well, there will be support for many platforms, like Kubernetes, Mesos, Liquid, and so on. And we will have plugins for testing these platforms as well. And like as well, we will work on uh, this. Um, so I think that in only in Okata will start splitting core code of Rally with OpenStack plugins, because before that point of time, we actually don't need that. Before we introduce another platforms. So these are core uh, Okata uh, things to do. Great. Thank you very much for your time.
and uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. For